Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I wanted to do a video about Traveler's Company, Traveler's Paper, and it is a very interesting topic. Now, I by no means <laughs> own a like fraction of what they offer. They offer so many products now. Um, this actually isn't even officially a Traveler's notebook. This is a knockoff from Amazon. In time, you'll come to forgive me. But I wanted to talk a little bit about the history of Travelers because it is very, very fascinating. So in 2005, there was a contest at the International Stationery and Office Product Fair in Tokyo, and a gentleman by the name of Lejima Atsiko had an idea to submit. So he wanted to create sort of an A5 size notepad that was slimmer. Now, if you're curious, if you don't own these products and you're curious, like their actual size, this is the standard size. And I will do this first in inches. And this is about four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And if you prefer a different level of measurement, this is, let's see. Oh my goodness, is this centimeters? I don't even know anymore. Uh, a little over like 11 and a half by, um, by 22. So that's the standard size that he sort of created and came up with. Now, this gentleman is now the head of Travelers. Um, he It's a team of three. They have one designer that comes up with the designs and the three of them knock out all the products and we're gonna go through it all but so this was in 2005 and then in March of 2006 the notebook was released for sale and it came in black or tan leather only and there were five varieties of refillable sheets now at the time it retailed for 3,000 yen and I'm gonna do everything by US dates US dollars because that's where I live I live in the United States and so that roughly like currency converts to about $232 at the time this product was actually released. Now in 2009, they came up with a passport size. If you have a passport, you immediately know what sort of passport size is. That's about, I don't know, a little under five inches by three and a half inches, I suppose. Um, 2010, they released a spiral ring notebook edition of products. Um, 2011, the Traveler's Factory opened. Now, Traveler's Factory is the name of the shop in Nakameguro, Tokyo, and it's in sort of the basement. Um, in 2014, Factory Airport opened, and that's the name of the Narita International uh, Airport shop. And then in 2017, the Traveler's Factory Station, so Tokyo Station shop opened. So they have some brick and mortar shops. The brick and mortar shops are absolutely adorable. You can go in, you can customize your notebook with stationery, with doodads, add-ons, just anything you can think of. And they, a lot of them have their own Instagram page and they have their own events. Um, with their own limited edition stuff that's specific to their area and to their interest where you can buy leather things that have stamps with different themes on the actual cover to that area and those are everything's like limited edition with some of that stuff now travelers company is actually owned as a subsidiary along with midori knox plotter touch and flow and it's all owned by a company called design fill inc and they are a Japanese stationary design firm and manufacturer. And I'll link Design Phil Inc.'s webpage if you want to check out some of their subsidiaries, which is why I have Midori right here. This is a Midori notebook, and we're going to touch on this when talking about travelers for a reason. So, um, in 2015, up until 2015, Travelers used to be called Midori. And you're gonna see why, I'm gonna show you why. But the main premise behind Travelers and their products sort of is to collect memories from your travels and trips. So 
Looking at sort of the digital age we live in and how we share photographs and, you know, sort of online blogs and vlogs and how we write things up, this is sort of a throwback to sort of the slower pace of hand journaling, hand collaging, collecting photos, putting them in a book, doodling along with that. It's, it's going back to sort of just the more relaxing, slower paced at which to document your travels and trips, which is why a lot of their limited edition themed books have air, have an airplane or a train or something that involves travel. It's very specific. Now you can buy um, a standard one of these that isn't this one. It retails for 50 US dollars and it comes with one notebook. Um, the passport size retails for about $41 and it comes with a notebook. And they offer so many more different types of refills than I don't know if folks even know are available. So they have lined notebooks, gridded, dot grids, blank. They have stickers, there's card files, zipper cases, pouches, there's sketch paper, there's a lightweight paper. If you like Tomoe River paper in your Hobonichi, you can buy a refill that's Tomoe River paper. It's called lightweight. There's craft. There's a monthly diary, a weekly diary, a weekly diary with a memo. There's cream paper. You can get watercolor paper. They offer so many different types of refills now, depending on how you want to customize your inside. Now, um, there are zipper pouches and every year they offer a new set of themed products for the year that are limited edition that come with sort of there's a clear folder, a plastic sheet guard, stickers. So this very much caters to sort of people who travel, people who like to customize their products, people who prefer handwriting things down, and then folks that buy into limited edition. That's sort of their bread and butter. Um, <laughs> please ignore the city's tree trimmers. I don't have a choice when the weather's nice. Um, so this is in 2021, 20, last year. So in February, they released a whole thing called B-Sides and Rarities. And these are special inserts. Now they didn't release until the United States until April. And there's like an accordion folded one if you want that sort of setup for your, full, your uh, notebook here. There's message cards, there's a washable paper. I have the super lightweight and I have the sticker release. So the super lightweight, which I have given to my children because I don't care for it, is sort of that onion skin. And I did some videos where I created in it, but then I gave it to my kids. So my son has sort of drawn in his and it's, it's adorable. Um, and this is the one I kept. So this is very much a sticker book. And I put my loose leaf stickers in here. So I don't lose them and I know what I have and it keeps me organized. Now, in the front of every single notebook that you buy from Travelers, there is a title page. It says Travelers Company, that's their official name, and there's this sheet of paper. This sheet of paper is Midori paper. That is what this is. If you've ever wondered what a Midori sketchbook paper feels like, how smooth and high quality that paper is, it is the front of every single one of these sort of specialty papers. Here is craft. I have a craft insert. I really love craft paper. This is just meant to be quotations and things I collect. Obviously I'm not doing well in it, but the first page is, it's Midori. This is Midori, the Midori sketchbook. Now, in here, and this is what I use for homeschooling and keeping track of records. When you look at the monthly calendar, the monthly calendar is all Midori paper. So if you've written on these monthly calendar pages before in their inserts, this is Midori paper. You now know what their sketchbook feels like. And their sketchbook is absolutely beautiful and stunning. Um, I really like how soft this paper is. And in the back, these you have blank extra sheets for the monthly calendar. Now, they also offer spiral ring and they have craft paper. This is a collaboration they did with Katsuya Tirada and he 
uh, released a book called Sketch. And he got together with Travelers and he said, I want to do a collab with you. And this is one of his illustrations. I just love his art. And then again, the first sheet is a standard Midori sketchbook. It is that cream colored paper. I will link a video where I test the paper and show you different pens. The inside though is the Midori paper white. So the inside is a different sketch paper. But again, when you go to buy Traveler's products, there's going to be a Midori sheet in there because they're all owned by Design Fill. So I, this whole thing is so interesting. They have a blog on their webpage and there's tons of different web pages. A lot of them are in Japanese. If you have a converter that translates the language to yours, I highly recommend it. They just had an event at one of their brick and mortar shops, uh, the 1st of May, where you could bind your own spiral bound book and you could do any color paper on the inside along with folder pages and sheet pages and all kinds of really cool stuff with different colored wires. They host events at their shops in Japan. So at some point it would be super fun to go to Japan and create my own things, but it's just a very lovely company. The attention to detail is nice. The leather that is used for this product is from Thailand. And there's a whole article about that if you're curious about the Thai leather. But I hope this video helps. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.